Hello everybody and welcome to your 29th Lego 5 tutorial. So in this tutorial we're going to be expanding on last tutorial and we're going to be learning on how to rotate the camera. Okay, so uh, we're going to have to say welcome back to our degrees variable. So we're going to create it again. Uh, and if you don't know what I'm talking about, if you watch my bitmaps effects video, uh, uh, tutorial 27, then you'll uh, know what I'm talking about. Uh, so we have our degrees in there, and if we press W, we increase the degrees. If we press down, we lower the degrees. Uh, this time, we're not going to be rotating an image, but we're going to be rotating the camera. And we can rotate it around an image if we want to. It really depends on where we rotate it. Uh, so what I have right here, what the function use is called rotate AL rotate transform. And then it takes the uh, the transform you're trying to transform and the uh, the radians that you're trying to transform from. So the three point one four one five divided by one eighty that will convert it from degrees to radians. Uh, so if we were to run this program, uh, when we see, when it rotates, we see that it rotates around the origin. So it rotates around the coordinate zero zero. If we notice that. Uh, the problem is that uh, the the thing is that uh, like some people might really like that, but some people might want it to rotate around an object, or they want to rotate uh, around the center of the screen, or, or something else like that, right? Uh, so, but we need to have the uh, position and, and where we rotate it from. So what we need to do is we need to uh, where whatever we want to rotate, we have to take that. We need to translate it to the origin position. Right, so we need to make that the origin position, so then it can rotate around that position, and then we need to translate everything back, so then it looks as though everything is uh, okay in our world, and then it will rotate from that position. Right, so in order to set the position where we rotate from, we need to translate it to that origin position, uh, s set that, and then translate everything back. So if you don't understand what I'm talking about, then you should understand what I'm saying after. Uh, so if we do AL translate transform, and we have our camera. Uh, before uh, we we did that, it was negative camera position, etc., etc. This time we want to rotate around the center of the screen. Okay. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take uh, we're going to take negative screen width divided by two, and we're gonna take negative screen height divided by two okay so basically uh, the coordinate so the origin position is going uh, the origin position is going to be the center of, of our um, the center of the screen okay so we we translate it we do so we're going to be drawing our world at negative 400 negative 300 and therefore the center of the screen is going to end up at the coordinate zero zero on our screen right in our world or in our screen or whatever right but in reality it is uh our objects are it's just our objects are translated or whatever so once we do that uh if we were to run this program what we see what we see is that our world is moved or was translated but if we notice if when we when we rotate it it's still uh the origin position is over here so it's rotating around that position as you can see right so everything starts the rotation uh, from that origin position that we specify. The, so the problem is that we set our world towards the left, but we need to convert it back into our regular uh, screen coordinate positions. So what we could do is just do AL translate transform, and then we do and camera, and then we would do a uh, positive screen width divided by two and screen height divided by two so we just translate it back into the original position that it was at so then if we rotate it now we notice that it starts rotating from the center of the screen right so everything it rotates from the origin so then we set the position where we want to rotate now uh the problem with this is that it doesn't incorporate screen scrolling at all with it so say we want to incorporate our screen scrolling with this uh, what we could do is we just set our camera position so we say negative camera position 0 plus the screen uh, width divided by 2 
right and we do that same for the y coordinate so we say camera position one plus and we have to have negative camera position and if we run this program no matter uh, where we go our screen is going to scroll and then when we rotate it it's going to scroll across um, according to the center of the screen right uh, but in this case it would be if we have a player and we want to we have a player centered it would be it would make more sense to rotate around the player uh, so around the center of the player so what we're going to do is going to do uh, minus we're going to say that first we're going to transform it to negative uh, negative x plus 16 which is going to be get the center of the sprite and uh, we say negative y plus 16 and then instead of adding y to it so whatever you subtract from here that's what you add to it so in this case we say camera negative camera position plus x plus 16 sorry and then over here we say plus y plus 16 so then if we run this program again no matter where our player is it rotates around the player so then if we're if we're scrolling or whatever we're scrolling across the screen no matter where the player is we're going to be rotating around the player's position uh, so that is essentially it for this program. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. And oh, maybe I should move it up more so you guys can see more. But yeah, that is it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And bye.